So I got an email earlier today asking me about starting a company and with my experience of starting a company did I think it was the right thing for this particular person to do. Uh, I believe the person was Jeff in Santa Monica. And uh, you know I, I've started a company and I'm still in the process of, of running that company and it's a hard question to answer. It's definitely an even harder decision to make uh, than simply answering the question. There's a lot that goes into starting a business. There's a lot that goes into running a business. And even though it's really tempting uh, to jump in and say, well, I'm going to go on my own and I'm going to do my own thing, that's not always the right thing for everybody. And so you, you really need to look at it and you need to look at yourself, honestly, and decide whether or not running a company is the right thing for you and the right thing for your family. Because I can tell you a lot of entrepreneurs not only go broke when they're founding companies, but they lose their families as well because it's a stressful job. So let's look at some of the things you're going to have to deal with as an entrepreneur and then you can kind of evaluate whether or not that's something you want to deal with. First of all, an amazing amount of stress. Um, it's, when, when you leave your job at the office, most of the time you leave your job at the office and you don't give a lot of thought to your job when you're not there. You know, you're, you're doing whatever you're gonna do with your family. Uh, you generally don't have to worry about it simply because you don't worry about the peripheral things of the business. If you're a computer programmer, you go in and you develop software. Um, if you're a, you know, if, if you're the guy uh, that does the CAD designs, you're gonna go in and do the CAD designs. Um, you're not generally gonna worry about uh, the cash flow, you're not going to worry about partnerships, you're not going to worry about legal, um, you're just going to worry about your little area of the company and that's it. And most of the time our areas within our companies are pretty limited. I mean we just do our job and that's it. Except in really small companies where everybody kind of gets involved. Um, as an entrepreneur though, you're part of everything. You are legal, you are marketing, you are sales, you are the programmer, you are the CAD guy. Uh, you're all of that and you have to worry about this. So I can tell you that as an entrepreneur, you're going to spend more nights awake worrying about your company and the little peripheral things that you never dreamed of in your old company when you were working for somebody else. You're going to spend more time worrying about that uh, now than ever before. So stress is going to be amazing amazingly high. Um, so if you're not the type of person that can handle stress, running a company probably isn't for you. Um, on the other hand, some people thrive on stress and if you are one of those people then it can be a great experience for you. Uh, the next thing of course is um, salesmanship. You have to be able, whether your company sells a product like door to door or whether your company sells something on the internet or whether it's just to put it on the internet and see what happens, sales is going to be um, part of your job. You have to be you have to be comfortable selling your idea, whether you're selling it to venture capitalists, potential customers, potential angel investors. You have to be comfortable pimping yourself out, pimping your brand out, pimping your company out, and and explaining why your company or your product uh, brings value to the market, why people should use it uh, over your competitors. And so sales is going to be a big part of what you're going to do as an entrepreneur. Um, Again, sales isn't for everybody. There are some people that are extremely uncomfortable with sales. Um, they, they can't even you know, explain why they use the type of pin that they use, much less why somebody should use uh, their product. And, and that'll be a problem if you're not comfortable with sales. So make sure you're the type of person that isn't comfortable kind of touting, that is comfortable rather, uh, tooting their own horn and explaining why their product is better than sliced bread and, and all that, because that's going to be a big part of your job. Uh, the second part is, or the third part is criticism. You're going to, as an entrepreneur, hear all of the criticism about your company. If you work at Walmart, you hear some criticism about Walmart. If you work in an office, you're going to hear some about you know, your company, but you're not going to hear it all. You are going to hear every single negative thing anybody in the market says about your company when you're an entrepreneur. And you know what? It's going to matter. It's going to carry a lot of weight because this is your baby, this is your dream, this is your thing. Um, and so, you know, if you're, if, if, you're, if you're comfortable with criticism and you understand how to put it in perspective and, and you understand that it's really nothing personal, you know, uh, it's just business, uh, that's a good thing. If not, you need to develop a, th a tougher skin uh, before you jump into the world of entrepreneurship because you're going to be criticized. The press is going to go after you. Your customers are going to go after you. Your partners are going to go after you. Your employees are going to go after you sometimes. And you have to know how to deal with that uh, before you jump in because it can hurt. It can kill a business. It can drive an entrepreneur out of business because he simply can't take the stress that's generated from criticism. And so make sure that you are 
you're good at, at handling that. I saved the best for last because I think one of the biggest issues, well, two of the biggest issues, actually, I guess I saved two, is being able to manage a company because not everybody can manage and being able to self-direct. If your company starts to grow and you can't manage it, you are up a creek. It's going to be horrible because you have to know how to direct not only yourself but other people. And if you can't do that, you've got a problem. And so if you're not the management type, if you're just kind of a, a worker bee and you enjoy being told what to do and having a predictable schedule and you know what's going to happen from day to day and all that, running a company is probably not for you because that's definitely not what it is. Um, on the other hand, a lot of your job is going to be self-direction. You're going to have to force yourself. You, you are your own boss to a degree, and that's not totally true, but you are, for the most part, your own boss. You decide when you go into the office, if you go into the office. You decide when you work from home. You decide uh, when a project needs finishing. You decide it all. And so self-direction, there's nobody cracking the whip saying, if you don't get to work, you're fired. If you don't get this project done, you're fired. There's nobody doing that. You're, you're the guy. You're the guy with the whip. And, and so are the girl with the whip, I mean, as it, as it were. But uh, you're the person basically cracking the whip on yourself. And if you can't do that, if you don't have self-discipline, forget about it. Your company's going to fail. Your company's not going to make it. And I worry a lot about young entrepreneurs um, doing companies in, in regards to this. Because I don't mean to sound... I don't mean to sound negative, but the generation that is out now, what we call Generation Y, can be a little bit entitled and lazy. Um, you know, they, they, they want things to be quick and easy and instant, and that's not true uh, when you're running a company. Things aren't quick. Things aren't easy. Things aren't instantaneous. There's no instant gratification. And so you really have to, especially if you're a younger entrepreneur, you have to know yourself, and you have to be willing to put into self-discipline to, or to learn self-discipline if you're not a disciplined person. Learn self-discipline enough to, to be able to, like I said, crack your own whip. Um, and so that, that's really the, you know, the, the gist of it. I mean, if you're comfortable with those things and you think that you can handle the stress and you're a good manager and you're, you're wanting to grow something sustainable and, and, you know, over the long term, I would say starting a company is probably the absolute best thing you can do. Uh, small business creates probably 90% of the jobs in this company, in this country, um, and and so yeah, starting a company is a good thing. It's a noble thing. You can contribute to the you can contribute to the culture and to, to humanity probably more by running a company than you can in any other way. Uh, you can do that financially. You can do that by employing people. You can do that by creating great products. Um, it it can be a, a wonderful experience for both you, uh, your family, uh, society at large. It can be great. Um, but you have to make sure that you know your strengths and weaknesses, and I think that's where a lot of entrepreneurs uh, tend to fall flat. They don't seriously assess their weaknesses. You know, they look at someone like Donald Trump or Bill Gates or whatever, and look, yeah, it's pretty easy. We can do that. You know, the truth is, you really can't. It's it's not you know it's not that easy. Um, so yeah. Uh, so Jeff, I think that if if you can look at yourself honestly, and there's a test out there somewhere uh, that'll kind of tell you your weaknesses, but if you can look at yourself honestly, and you can say that I can deal with the stress, I can deal with self-management, I can deal with criticism, I can deal with the, the, the long hours and the commitments that are required, then yeah, starting a company is a great thing for you, and I'd suggest, you know, run with your idea. The worst that can happen is it doesn't turn out and you, you fail. The best that can happen is you're, you're successful beyond your most amazing dreams. Um, other than that, uh, you know, I'd say maybe maybe working for somebody else might be your 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 niche there. Maybe you know maybe you're, there's no, there's no shame in not running your own company. There's no shame in being a worker bee. Uh, it's it's a noble thing in itself, and you can make your contributions to your company. Because keep in mind, if running a company is a way to make a contribution to society, wouldn't working at a company and you know helping them grow and helping them be successful. A contribution in itself. I mean, you're making a an indirect contribution to society, but a contribution nonetheless. And so, if 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 you need to work for someone else or you're comfortable working for someone else, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but uh, I still think that uh, running a company is amazing. It's fun, um, and uh, you can make a lot of money. And so, you know, take a chance, live your dream, and uh, and go after it. That's all I can say. Just go after it because. You'll never know. You'll never know if you could have done it if you don't go after it. And you'll spend the rest of your life wondering, you know, what if. And that's the most damning thing. 
that can drive you freaking insane sitting there constantly wondering what if so Jeff I'd say go for it send me an email let me know what you what your idea is or your company is once you're up and running and uh, I will um, I will pimp it here on the YouTube channel uh, maybe we'll even do a Skype interview and, and post it here on the YouTube channel uh, to kind of get you going because I am really excited anytime anybody tells me they want to start a company I'm excited so uh, thanks for emailing me and uh, my email is going to be coming at the end of the video uh, send me an email let's get together um, and for those of you out there who are thinking about starting a company do it don't wait don't wait another day you can do it it's easy it's quick just go and do it so uh, have a good one and uh, talk to you guys soon